sorry, Satan. Sometimes I'm a little bit too hard on you. But I just remember all the, the hard times I've been through that you uh, offered and I accepted. All you do is offer things and people accept it. And uh, if they accept certain things and then they get mad at you and then blame it on you and say, the devil made me do it. Well, it's not true because all you did was offered it to them. They took it. You can offer up agitation. I can take it. You can offer up anger, impatience, and I'll take it. And then I'll curse you out. Well, not really. I won't make a railing accusation against you. But, uh, you know, the Lord rebuke you. And that's really it. The Lord rebukes you. I just get impatient with things. I see things others don't see. And then I see things that others do see. But when does that make a difference? When does it make a difference in the actual world itself? What year, what day, what month, what hour? How long does it have to take? Tracy Morgan up there says, uh, I don't know. See how I can't I can't even get answers off of billboards. So you offer up disgust. I I accept it. As soon as you offer the world to all the people and all the all the goodies in life besides that they gotta worship you. That's the only downfall that they that they have with everything that they have in the world where it's it's the fact that considering everybody lives in this realm of existence sleeping matrix dreamland reality or not you still have to d go through it flesh just gets tired it wants to rest my flesh doesn't want to get up every day and go to work it doesn't want to do that it's looking for a uh, a retirement fund so my mind my soul and spirit I have to generate my future retirement by uh, talking it into existence and convincing the Pharaoh to take your foot off of the gate I'm trapped in hell let me out Pharaoh Akhenaten and Nefertiti let me out. I have a serpent as an arm. Alright? You know, I, it's, I just go with it. I go with it. I push the record button. I, um, I've learned to just assume that that's what I have to do. And then, whatever video I'm playing, what I'm showing to whoever I'm showing it to, like Jonathan Click. It's gonna, it's gonna line up. It's just gonna line up because it's that time for me to see it clear. Unlike my cell phone right now, it's spazzing out.
and even if not, then I'll usually get a confirmation I'm off off target. But he says the Lord God showed him everything. And if anybody else is trying to do that on our channel, stop watching them, in other words. So I thought he could be implying about me. He could he could be implying to the deceived eye about me, just like John uh, Stephen James will appeal to the blind eye when he speaks negative uh, threats and stuff towards me and you know lies and spewing all that garbage. It could be that too, or it could just be somebody that I don't even know he's talking about who's trying to do his uh, Akhenaten stuff. I just go by my baby picture. I go by the, the dead sheep. Like referring to me being a dead sheep. But yet a serpent arm in my baby picture. When I'm about one years old, I guess. And it's artwork behind me. There's a couple government officials behind me. One is a, a raptor reptilian. And the other one, I, I believe, is the, the serpent leader. I don't know how many other pictures they did like that with any other children. But it sure is unusual. So somebody's in charge of this world, right? It's one or the other, one of you is that I named. It's either Derek Bros, the god of this world, Jonathan Cleck, Stephen James, Deshaun, uh, Steve Benoon. And with Jacob Israel, there's five main people that have shown me that in the world itself, they know what's what's coming on, like on a television set. Whether the bombings are going to happen or not happen. Jonathan Click showed me plenty. Matter of fact, I met him at a couple spots just to confirm that. I met him in Texas during the Eagles-Dallas game on October 20th, 2019 with Tornado Click that hit the Home Depot. I met him at, at the Home Depot because I pointed to my hat. So the target was Home Depot. The terrorist watch was somewhere during the Eagles-Dallas game in Dallas, Texas, that they were going to destroy the Eagles, and that's what they did. And then Tornado Click tore through the Home Depot, and I got a shout-out, Robin at Shiloh, Shiloh at Robin Lane. So I met him there first. Then I met him on his birthday, 316. Well, no, he met me. Well, he finally introduced himself. Let's say that. I met him first. I introduced myself. I introduced myself. I said, Jonathan Click, my name is Robin Tees. I'm going to be your highest trained reviewer now. I just want to let you know that uh, God sent me to keep an eye on you. Because you're next. At first, I introduced myself to Stephen James Deshaun. And then then it was in between it was Jonathan Cleck and then Derek Burroughs introduced myself to him and then he accepted my introduction and had me on the show for three weeks in a row and uh, I introduced myself to Steve Benoon I introduced myself to Jacob Israel plenty of times. He even said shame on you, Robin, for calling me Jamie the Rabbit, my nickname as a child. I mean, Jamie, shame on you. And that sounded just like Matthew Daly when he said the same thing. He knew what he was doing. I don't think he was blind. I think he knew. I think everybody knows. I think I was the only one that was blind. Maybe I really am blind in real, real life, but I'm dreaming now. I can see I don't know. Let's 
So I introduced myself to Jonathan Click and told him I'll, I'll, I will be uh, keeping tabs for a little bit. Then on leap year, February 29th, 2020, he called me a nerd. He said I was in deep. He said, uh, I know. He, he apologized to me first. He said, I'm sorry, Robin Hood. And all you shills, you're in for deep, 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 deep trouble. Now, those are the exact words, word for word. I just pronounced it differently. You heard, sorry, Robin Hood and all you shills. You guys are in for deep, 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 deep trouble. I heard, sorry, Robin Hood and all you shills. You're in for deep, 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 deep trouble. So that's all you gotta do is stress certain words, slow down keywords, and um, emphasize the main word. Sorry, Robin Hood. It's okay, Jonathan Clegg. I accept your apology. And then, considering I accepted his apology and he, he said he was sorry, I wished him a happy birthday not even 16 days later on 316 2020, uh, 2020 nice move there boss I wish him a happy birthday and I'm like you know what I'm feeling lucky today let me guess on the stock market and I'm going to say it's going to drop I mean it's not going to drop it's going to tumble 3,000 points and don't you know that the moment I said that on 926 AM 316 2020 before the bell rang 4 minutes John Click rang his bell at 226, and the lady got up on the news at 426 and said exactly what was in my title when I titled it, and I was doing the video at 926, saying it's going to tumble 3,000 points, and that's exactly what she said and showed in the newscast at 426. The stock market tumbled over 3,000 points today, and it was the worst point loss in history. So that began my history with, I don't know if it's Akhenaten or Nefertiti, it's whichever one, or, or he's, he's the child being talked about, and Nefertiti, Akhenaten and Nefertiti is his mama, papa, dada. Still not sure, but either way, you definitely know who it is. And so I, that was my beginnings with Jonathan Click. My three encounters, really. Well, no. Wait a minute, I forgot. I know I actually introduced myself back in August 2019 before that because I did a Jonathan Click to be crowned at the Masonic Temple in Philly on August. 10th I think it was it may have been right before he showed up at Temple and shot six officers you know that got one of them and got a wounded head and did live and then I think it was about 13 days later the Bible Gateway Philadelphia Church burnt to crisp as I was looking for the next the next Philadelphia event out of four to come So I, I was on the tail end of Johnny. Here to stay. And then uh, it proceeded to the water sprouting up out of nowhere, like stri stri striking the rock on 7 8 2020 at 8 46 a.m. at 17th and JFK across from the. Uh, Chase Bank where on the back of a $50 bill there's an explosion that takes place in the future unless they cancel it and Nineveh repents from the teachings of Jonah you know I mean Jonathan Click does preach doom and gloom so did Harold Camping so, so do I so did Jonah and then nothing happens and he's a little little upset waiting outside of the east side of the city to see what happens for however long it 
It was the time that he was going skydiving in a desert place, a dry riverbed, and then all of a sudden it rained on one side and sprout. So when I was standing there at 846, which is the same time that the first tower was hit on the first 9-11, no water was running all year long, and there's 69 holes right there at the Comcast building, Xfinity. And don't you know, the water sprouts up out of nowhere two minutes before I'm looking for a bomb to go off on 7-8-2020. It's almost as if water sprouted up out of nowhere and I was standing there at the well with with like the uh, asking uh, if I can get a drink because it, yeah I'm a little, I'm, a little, I'm literally thirsty and so I got a drink I got the drink for even my uh, if I had camels they would have been fed too because there was so much water that gushed out of the the streams there out of nowhere and then fast forward three months and a few days I go to the same place I'm looking for a bomb to go off instead of a bomb going off Obama shows up and he gave me a shout out Robin Robin's Hood T's what our last name is the John the Click knew that knew to throw all those sayings in there when Obama was reading what he was reading because uh, he knew I was going to take all the clips and he truly was thanking me being uh, in Philadelphia so I took it in honor. I was called Mr. Philadelphia. Yeah, he was talking about Charlie Mack uh, to the people, but what he was really saying was he was thanking me for, you know, being there that day when the water stood still at 8.48 a.m. on 10-21-2020, Harold Campanzaro. Campus Euro. As John Tecleck was showing the same video before I even got there, before that even happened that morning, he was showing that Barack Obama video saying be still know that I'm God at 8 48 a.m. and then I go down there a few hours later and the water stays still at that time and I recorded it I documented it time and all and I didn't even know Barack Obama was coming to Philly that day until Tucker texts me later on I'm like oh really he was there so Obama did show up Obama didn't go off but Obama showed up so Obama didn't Obama it didn't go off, but Obama Obama did show up. So Obama uh, didn't go off, but Obama showed up. And and that was quite a shout out from Barack Obama. You know my dad. And let's see what else from that point. Those were just signs here and there, just signs of Jonah here, signs of Jonah over there. No, no real big deal because I, how can I even prove that Jonathan Clegg had anything to do with it? When I was done showing all the evidence gathered together the next day, it proved it that Jonathan Clegg knew that the water was going to shut off at 8.48 a.m. I thought he knew because he was the one to push the button. Now I know he already knew from, I don't know how long, thousands of years ago, apparently, or however long my life is, maybe. Maybe 47 years ago he knew. When I started this life thing in the flesh, living this thing out, coming across spirits that have proven to me they run the entire planet system and they know everything that's going to happen before I do my entire life. So that was all in the year 2020, Satan meeting his match. And then fast forward three years, it it's so much that you can't even keep track of it. There, there's, I don't know how many books you would have to write 
to keep track of the non-stop of reciprocating communication for whatever reason I don't know exactly why John the Click was uh, stuck on me with not letting go of it's like bless me Robin bless me I'm not letting you go and he's just wrestling and struggling and wrestling and then you got Jacob Israel as a wrestling writer for the WWE and he's doing the same thing as like wrestling with God and and with a spirit because I've wrestled with God I've wrestled with the devil all my life because the devil offered me whatever I wanted and as soon as I took it and I got in trouble I'm like damn it I'm sorry God the devil made me do it <laughs> no Robin nope don't cop out it's your fault you accept what the devil offers and the devil will offer you everything and he'll be glad to give it to you but he won't have any respect for you and the devil only believes in one true God that's so insane that the devil is the one that believes in the one true God because in the end he's the one that makes that manifest because he controls the entire world he has to change his ways because God changed his heart sounds ridiculous right Satan yeah okay like he's going to become like Christ an angel of light <laughs> like Lucifer's my boss he's not going to you're not really going to change it to an angel of light, are you, Lou? Lou? <laughs> Lou? You're not going to listen to Robin, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not going to listen to Robin. But I'm going to listen to Asu Emmanuel. So you can't even make that stuff up. It's like I've been driving for 22 minutes. All of a sudden, I see Asu in front of me. And I'm talking about who changed Satan's heart. Remember Stephen James? He's like, Hey, Robin. When I'm meeting uh, boldly down by the river, who lives in a van, he's like, Look at his shirt. It says A. Sue, because he's covering up the J purposely, because he's telling me who he works for, his boss. <laughs> yep, you got to plunder the uh, strong man first. You got to go into room 100 on 323, 2023, between 330 and 4, exactly half hour time of shh. For eight songs, seven of them, two recordings. Second one, the eighth song was of the seventh. And you got to flip the uh, the old Bono man upside down in room 100. You got to cut through a yellow light that turns red. Hopefully nobody sends you a ticket in the mail or gets you pulled over. And you'll get the green light to flip them upside down in that in that room, but it has to be room 100. And when you flip him upside down. The moment you flip him upside down, he has to admit that his hands are tied, which means you bind him up, the strong man, and then you plunder his house because the house of God has been defiled. So it's time to plunder it. And that's how you do it. With love, of course. That has to change the heart. Lucifer just needs to be more conscious of his creation because what do you, why do you create people and you won't take care of every single one of them? Or did you just not? No, because you rule the flesh. It's yours. You offer everything to please the flesh. Everything... And that's why when you offered it to Jesus, what he, did was, what he did was he demonstrated drawing a line in the sand and saying, this is where you cross the line, Satan. 
and this is where I'm not crossing the line. And all you hypocrites that are accusing Mary as she is in repent mode because she got caught and then once Christ knew she wasn't going to repent, I mean, uh, she wasn't going to sin anymore with, with that sin, that's why he said at that moment. And then I demonstrated in the art museum how I turned him up to write on the wall and tell Belshazzar that his time's up because that's the writing on the wall. And at that exact moment, the same miraculous sign of Jonah took place where in room 100, not 100% no lion, nylon 100%, but 100, room 100 flipping Bono upside down and tying his hands and binding the strong man and plundering his house. So when I say Pharaoh, I'm looking for Number one, I'm looking for you to take your foot off of the gate and in my life, let me free. Let me breathe. I know you're taking my breath from me, but at the same time, as you consume your own child, when you're eating your own children or you're eating that specific child, you're consuming that child and if that child has the Holy Spirit inside of him, then it's like consuming the bread of life. It's food. You're consuming, you're eating, you're eating the child. The child would be the bread of life for you to eat. Giving you bread. It's life. And then drowning out the spirits of liars and the fake news media. But that same child would have had to have come into your platform with the channel name Fake News. Somewhere along the lines. Like Bowie Merlin's Fake News. And then that same channel would have to eventually shift that out and stick with Stealing from the rich and giving to the poor name. And then all that would have to line up in his baby picture. The, ba the baby picture would have to have you behind him. With your serpent eye behind his head. And that child would have to have a serpent hand. Connecting to the red and ruddy hand. And it had to be sitting on your lap. With your arm around him. Uh, holding hands with your other child. So, all these things must come to pass in order for for that gate to open up because I sure am out of breath down here. I am tired. But I'm going to keep doing it. Free of charge. Every upload, it's the same. It's free. Back in 2018 at the beginning when I was doing my video about the people that were uh, attacking me making videos saying I'm a shifty shifty eyes alien robotoy transvestite uh, a false prophet the, I w what I was saying was every video I uploaded got at least 3,000 views on average easily and and then what happened was the people that commented or you know, they would get attacked. If, if they were real people, they were just getting attacked. And and then by having Stephen James and the crew and the, his posse that he knows all about as Derek Bros shows up, all of a sudden, for the entire year, what an honor it was. I, I wish I never deleted at one video because I would have shown it. Or I wish I knew every video that was up and I wish I would have recorded it. Because man, what an honor it was to be called all of those things by so many different people on the YouTube platform when I came out of nowhere and I'm the son of none. Nobody. I don't even have a father. He's not even alive when I started YouTube.
without Stephen James dropping my name nonstop, Robin Henry Tees, Robin Henry Tees, Robin Henry Tees, I don't think my fame would have gotten so far in such a negative way. But whatever Satan has used in a negative way for the people that will accept anything he gives them, God is going to use that for, for his good in the end. So there's no point in me getting mad at Satan and your, your gang-stalking tactics that people have freely accepted. Because it just proves how I'm that magnet and they're all fragments just magnetized to me. The only part that I have to work on of my frustration level is that knowing that fact and then on top of that, if that's true, right, shouldn't my life be a little bit more, I don't know, free, uh, better, uh, have money, retire, do what I want, like that? That's the part where I, and then on top of that, you can offer me impatience and I'll gladly accept it and then I'll complain some more about you and blame it on you when you're the one that you freely give to but you also take back you freely give any carnal emotions and I can freely take it and then I can not accept responsibility and blame you for me taking your free gift so I just want to say to Satan, I'm sorry for being that way. I know I'm being a pissant. And I know that God ultimately is your is your God. Like you're you believe in the one and only true God because you truly know who the only living true God is. And all the other people before that, once they started to catch on, but before that, you offered them a lie and they took it and they kept running with it so I accept responsibility for my own actions for taking the free gifts that you give but here Satan you can have it back you can freely give it to anybody else I've taken your free gifts long enough I'd rather have God's free gifts because they're easier they truly are easier all you got to do is just tell the truth and not be afraid of anybody and keep showing what you're showing. That's what God told me to do. And be patient because your inheritance, it's already locked away in a vault waiting for you to open it up because you're the one that has the key. But also the key is remain patient because it'll get there. So when I do that... The complaining can now stop. So what if people are lying to me? They're lying to everybody. God said he's going to keep me from the hour of, temp of temptation because I'm not going to be tempted to believe the lie. And then I'm not going to be tempted to be irritated at the lie and then get all worked up throughout the day because of the irritation level of liars even though they were liars from the beginning. Even though the lost house of Israel are the ones that are supposed to see this, see these signs coming in the clouds. Even the false prophet, the beast, dragon, they, they can all do signs, miracles, and wonders too. They can literally do that, literal miracles. Everything gets flipped up, turned turned right side up, everything. So, to blame Satan is foolish. To tell Satan the Lord rebuke you, well, you know, it's, it's true. Because it's about the secrets. And then once they're revealed, when the time is up, from the script that was written from the beginning 
because the truth was revealed your time is up your, like your time from what you did your job your job is done you get to go and rest because truly who do you have to deceive anymore it's so much work isn't it like how much work the, Satan just does a lot of work and at some point you just got to be tired of it it's like my goodness how many people are going to Be hands-on training with you. It's never-ending. For the anti-Christ. A-T-C. Anti-Christ. And the proper T's. Uh, prayer flight's not in the winter. Uh, in that session. Keystone, like, yeah, the key. All right, enough. So that's, like, that. there's Satan there. Satan is uh, electricity, right? Satan is, is power. I saw late Satan fall from heaven like lightning. I saw that in the art museum, too. Six seal, the song, going in. the writings on the wall flipping them upside down with or without you <sighs> so God knows my heart my mind Satan knows it just as well I learn as I go I'll talk things out. I will stand corrected in times where I need to be corrected. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm not trying to be. Akhenaten and Nefertiti. 1,300 B.C. Before Christ. So, 1,300 Days, a year, a year, days, as a, as a year. That's one thing. The gas is too much on this earth. Everything's too expensive. Pharaoh, you got to lower the prices on stuff. It's it hurts. It's it's really hurting our our pockets. You know the people that don't worship the gods. They only worship the one true God, like Jacob, who you get he was you know the ladder ascending, and descending, and. Abraham and Isaac. Glad you exist. Now let my people go. Because when you do that, I'm going to be free as well. What has to happen? What's ne you know what what's next? The firstborn. Look, I don't know how many signs of Jonah you have to see in order for you to let my people go. Because you already seen the frogs and the I think what is the locust and the pestilence and the firstborn now. All the ones that were born first. Does that mean the firstborn twin that went, got gas chambered, went to heaven, and but yet was an evil twin? Or did they go to the pit? Or is it just the firstborn on YouTube, everybody that was born first with the script in her hand and a purse? It's time for their career to go bye-byes. I mean, 
you don't have to die out, but you just can't stay here. It's closing time. It's time for you to go out to the places where you're from. But you can't stay here. Closing time. Time for you to go out to the places where you'll be from. Just not here on the YouTube platform. In my father's house. I can dig it for seven years, doing it for free. Whatever, whatever I earned is on me. The Walmart video, that's my own doing. I earned, I created money out of that. So I'm on the payroll, it's just not enough. And quite frankly, I think my, my view count has been diminished and all the money may have been stolen of, of monetized uh, views. Could have just been channeled into a different pocketbook of someone's Swiss bank account. Who knows? But all you got to do, Pharaoh, is tell your people to watch my video every day after seven years. And that's when I monetize it because I earned it from that point on because I did it for free for seven years. Or do I got to do it for another seven more days? I don't, I don't know, until the 9th, maybe? April 9th, 2024? How sweet, man. My goodness. Can you imagine? Well, everybody can because you're all part of the organization. But you don't have to work for a living. You just get on the computer and troll me and make videos about me and discredit me for all those years. And and then you, all you do is just spew lies, read your scripts, and continue to spread propaganda on the YouTube platform where... Coming up shortly, your tongue isn't going to be spattering off lies anymore because the secrets have been revealed. The cat's out of the bag. Literally, it's out of the bag. And someone back in 2016, when they were crucifying me the next day, or within that month of March 2018, I was talking to somebody about giving himself oral. And it's like, the cat's out of the bag. I have to give myself oral. <laughs> so now I know what that meant. That's why Jald Karim uploaded his very first video. 11 years, 11 months, and 11 days before I uploaded my first video. That six years, six months, six days later, the bombs dropped on Israel on October 7th, 2023, which was seven years prior to the six pages that I wrote about that specific moment on October 7, 2016. Six months and two days before I started the YouTube platform, 62, taking over. I can't make this stuff up. Matthew Daly, 111 subscribers. Get crucified by him between the sixth and the ninth hour doing a live stream, recording his live stream for three hours plus on my 11th day and first month when he had 111 subscribers that day. I don't know how much more Pharaoh needs to see. But Moses and Aaron have been doing quite a work in showing you And it started three years ago. I need to get up out of here because I am here at the, the bottomless. Free me.